Good morning, YTPC. Philly Piper Mike here. It is Tuesday, June 1st. 61 degrees, going up to 77 today. Feels like a Monday. Because of the holiday. Today I am smoking... Uh, what is this? I forget what this is. Oh yeah, the 606. This is my Savinelli 606 KS Eleganza. Awesome pipe. Rusticated blue stem, silver military mount. <coughs> and in it today, I am smoking some Astley's 109. which I've had for a few years um, and I kind of completely forgot about it. <clears throat> it's been uh, tucked away in one of my crates in a ball jar, but I don't really remember it being <clears throat> Not great, but it's uh, it's good. It's a nice, uh, you know, medium Virginia, medium. I'd say in between medium, a little on the heavier side, medium. As far as flavor goes. It doesn't taste... It, it tastes a lot like the Astley's number 44, just not as dark as that. It tastes a lot like um, Valen number 14. <coughs> I get that kind of, it's just, you know, you get your, your, your bread. Ready, Virginia is your little bit of grassiness. And, and it's a pretty dark in, in color. It's a pretty dark flake. A little moist, too. I let it sit out like maybe like 10, 10 minutes. It could have gone a little longer. But I always have trouble keeping the pipes lit when I'm talking. And I, I can't talk that well with it in my mouth. I end up either just like mumbling or blowing tobacco out of the pipe. Or just smoking too too fast. Trying to keep it lit while I talk. It just it doesn't work out that well. I don't think pipes were meant to be smoked while someone was talking. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> I hope everybody had a great holiday weekend. I had a great weekend. Um, like you guys know, I went up to Lancaster Archery Supply, picked up a brand new bow. <clears throat> I got the Matthews uh, V3 and a bunch of other accessories. I'll, I'll make a little video. <clears throat> I know Timber Drifter. <clears throat> had you know said show us what you get and a couple other people that I uh, I talked to um, have expressed interest or you know said that they were um, they were bow hunters or art you know into archery so I'll make a little video of it change it up a little bit Yeah, got, dude, this Astley's 109 is, uh, it's nice. I'm liking it. I 
think you only ever bought one tin of it. I, I uh, definitely buy more. That's assuming it's available. I know some some of the Ashley stuff can be kind of, you know kind of hard to kind of hard to get. But this is good. This is a real nice medium Virginia, or should it say straight Virginia? I'll tell you what, I am sore as hell. I uh, from like not really shooting a bow at that much. I shot some recurve for like a couple weekends, so only for like a, an hour at a time, half hour. And then Saturday when I went up there, <clears throat> I had an hour like lesson. So I shot for an hour with a compound bow. The first time I'd really shot a compound bow, um, which got which has like a heavier front end draw. Um, and then the amount of shooting I did trying the bows out and then <clears throat> the amount of like pulling I did just you know measuring stuff and getting my peep sight in and then my draw length and measured and arrows and all that stuff and then shooting it after the bow was built paper tuning it I mean I, I, God knows how many hours I, arrows I shot on Saturday a lot um and I woke up, like, Sunday, and I was, like, you know, my arms were a little sore, like, over here and here, and, like, the back muscles, like, in the back muscles of my arms, and I was like, ah, and then I, uh, I pulled a couple more, you know, I, I was playing around with the bow a little bit yesterday, showing my son, but the last two days, I wake up, and I'm just like, oh. <laughs> like my back is sore, my shoulders. It's the same thing. Like when you, <clears throat> the only thing I can equate it to is, um, like when you golf. You know, when you when you go to the range, if you haven't golfed all season, you go golf and you go to the range and you hit a bunch of balls with a large bucket of balls. And then the next day you wake up and you're just like, there's you're just sore because it's muscles in your upper body that you don't use on a daily basis. You know, you only use those certain muscles when you swing a golf club. And when you do that over and over again, you know, you have to kind of get those muscles going. And you're like, what the hell are you doing to me? Same exact thing. Um, similar muscles, too. Like this, you know, upper, oh, it's all upper body. <coughs> you know, biceps, the, your, your back muscles where your shoulder blades are, the back of your your arms, like your shoulders here, like that's real sore, it's like sort of the touch, that's how like sore it is, it's like I just like started working out and I haven't worked out in like forever, <clears throat> kind of the way that it, uh, it feels, plus it's, uh, I have my bow set down to like, I think it's like 57, 58 pounds right now, draw length, just because <clears throat> when I was, I was, I think we were starting at 60 or 65 and it was just not having ever pulled that much weight. It was, I was struggling, you know, and you don't want to struggle. You want to build those muscles up. So we, we put a mod in the V3 and we jacked the weight down so I can, you know, shoot, uh, more easily and then build up those muscles. And then I, the good thing about the V3, the Matthews bow is that with mods, you can make it anywhere from like, I think 50 to 70 or 75 pounds. So, I can change the, the draw weight <clears throat> as I get stronger, which is nice. So, but anyway, guys, um, yeah, it's, uh, hope you guys had a great weekend. I had a great weekend. It was rainy. I mean, we made the best of it. Just hung out with the kids like I, know, like I always do. So, I did a lot of cleaning. I don't know if you can see my trucks filled with trash bags. I have so many, like, just toys, old toys and junk. And I cleaned out um, one of the girls' rooms. 
and I cleaned out a bunch of these old toy boxes and crates we had filled with toys that, oh, excuse me, were just destroyed and just taking up space and I gotta do clothes next just cause with having four kids, the amount of crap you, uh, you acquire is kind of mind boggling. So I'm the type of person that I'm like, yeah, they haven't played with that or they have more than that in six months. Say, get that, get rid of it. And I do it. So my wife said, oh, maybe we could use that or maybe, no, 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 no. I don't even tell her I'm doing it. I just clear house and she never knows it's missing and nobody ever knows it's missing and it's gone. <laughs> so um, I usually donate all the clothes and then the toys I usually end up, you know, just junking because most of them are pretty beat up. Anyway, guys talk to you on the next one. I'm still waiting to hear from uh, Mark from Tob Tobacco Pipes International. I need to get his info so I can go and get all this stuff in the mail. I'm definitely going to do that this week. I've been, uh, with the holiday, I kind of drug my feet a little bit and I was waiting to talk to some people. So, everybody, Amir, I'll get your stuff. i got to weigh that <clears throat> early morning pipe just to figure out what's there. Um, Parsimonious Piper, I'll get your stuff in the mail. I have your, in your, your, uh, your info. So, and John, I'll get your stuff out too now that I know what you want. So anyway, you guys have a great day. Have a good week. And uh, I'll talk to you on the next one. Remember, the left lane is for passing. See you guys.